song. Uh, this song came out like um, almost a month ago. A lot of people liked it. Uh, a lot of people didn't. It's called Melanie. Who's Melanie? Yeah. Simon says she's good, good luck. She's one thunder, your thunder. I never really, I never really told people what the song was or who was it about. You know, sometimes uh, life is just not meant to be what it's meant to be, you know. Sometimes we think we're gonna be with someone for a long, long time and, you know, everything works out. But sometimes <laughs> God has other plans, you know. We were together for seven years on the on the low end. Um, I never really told my friends about her. She never really told her friends about it. It's like we weren't actually exclusive, but we were we were a thing on the low end. So if you like, uh, if you call me and if I'm busy, if, uh, if I'm not there. I mean, a couple of months ago, if you had called me and I wouldn't be there, then I was basically, because I was basically with her. I spent most of the time of my day with her. All right, I tried to. There's no place I would have rather been. You know, the time I spent with her was all. That's why. That's the reason I wrote that song. Somehow she's still around. I like to believe she's still around. It wasn't all fun and games with this, you know, it wasn't always it wasn't always awesome. We heard each other. Um, when we could we did and but you know by the end by the end of all of it, you know we still needed each other. Somehow we were always we kept <laughs> kept coming back, we kept coming back to it, you know, whatever, whatever it was. And then she got sick uh, during the coronavirus and we thought about just a hiccup. But she did not, she did not thought about it like that. documentary uh, this is to share things about her that uh, you know I really remember and uh, I wanted to share them with with everyone to share her memory it's about the it's about the cool parts that we've been together with for example uh, the first thing that comes into my mind is like we were like kids. We would go to the park and, you know, <laughs> we would just turn into kids, jump on the seesaw, uh, you know, slide down on the slide. <laughs> we built blanket forts, you know, that was something like, I don't know, why would adult people do that? I don't know why would people do that, but we, we built like uh, <laughs> blanket forts. Yeah. She. She took a lot of time to poop. A lot of time to poop. It's like it's insane how much time she needed in the bathroom. I would go crazy. She also worked out with me. You know, she was, I don't tell this to my friends, but she was one of the main reasons I ever started working out. It wasn't always like, uh, it wasn't always like uh, a lot of fun and games. Uh, the beginning of this year, you know, in January, she broke her shoulder and 
that set me off like I was I got scared I got scared little did I know what was uh, about to come in the future but only that got me got me really really scared yeah we we took care you know we took the it's not like we did not take the pandemic seriously we we when we were going out to the groceries we would wear masks and all that and we would take care of our hygiene we would use sanitizers in the beginning we can't live forever it's like some of us live longer some of us don't and uh, that's what life is I can tell you today without sitting here not all relationships are perfect not all relationships are fun games some are just some are just very valuable some some define what's life for you and once they're gone uh, feel like there's no there's no reason reason to live but you have to go on you have to live life to the fullest and that's that's what the memory of melanie teaches me that's what i take from all that's happened <laughs>